This is an update on my homemade do-it-yourself stir plate that I made inside the DVD player. If you watch my other video, I added a computer fan and an earth magnet that I took out of an old hard drive. Uh, I super glued a big washer on the top of the, the fan and then the earth magnet of course just stuck pretty solid to that. That seems to be a good way to do it. I first tried Velcro and the Velcro caused the uh, magnet to warble a little bit uh, which kept making the uh, magnet uh, bar fly off inside the uh, flask. So here what I have, I actually went out and got a bigger magnet to put inside the flask here. I have like a two inch long magnet for this one gallon jug. Uh, that may or may not have been necessary uh, but I wanted to have it anyway because I want to try using this on a carboy and I think that the uh, steel casing, once I have all the screws put in, will hold up the carboy. We'll see. If not, I'll put a block of wood inside of it to, to support it further, but I'm going to try it without first. Uh, but this is a uh, two smack packs inside this one gallon jug and I went up to the uh, Mr. Malty online calculator and it suggested that for the beer that I'm brewing that has a pretty high gravity I needed two smack packs. Uh, I've talked to other people who said no, they, you probably don't need two, but anyway I've got two in here. It's a uh, a liter of water with one cup of DME. Uh, this is day two of stirring this. I made this yesterday uh, around 11 o'clock in the morning and I, know, I think it's about 7.30 in the morning right now the next day. Uh, when I started stirring yesterday I didn't have a vortex. You can see I have a vortex now but I think because it was thicker actually I'm not sure why uh, but now I have a vortex going uh, not all the way down to the bottom. Well, maybe it is. But anyway, it's uh, stirring pretty well. If you watched my other video, you saw that uh, I didn't include a potentiometer in the other one. I've added one. I uh, seemed to need it, or I thought that I needed it to get started, but I really believe that it was because I used the Velcro to try to put the earth magnet onto the fan. I thought that I needed to adjust the speed, but it wasn't the speed of the fan that was causing the magnet to fly off, it was that the magnet was warbling. Nonetheless, I've got the potentiometer added in there. I'll probably leave it. Um, uh, so that's the update on the do-it-yourself yeast stirrer.